So first, I'm going to apply this Cryoline eyeshadow primer in my eyelids. On my eyelids, sorry. And this is just to fix your eyeshadow so it lasts longer through the day. Um, when I don't have eyeshadow primers, I just use, um, I use concealer. So it's fine if you use concealer, it's as good as wearing primer. Uh, then I have this Urban Decay Vice palette and I'm going to use like the lightest colors here. I like Anonymous, which is the peach color over here with an e.l.f. brush. I don't know if you can see it like that. Um, e.l.f. I can't buy here in Berlin. I am here right now. Um, usually we have it in the drugstores back home. So, uh, but yeah. Um, I like a lot of their products. But right now I don't have any. I use them all. <laughs> So uh, I only needed like this color right here. I'm not going to do much eyeshadow. I'm just going to do laced, which is like a very pale brown color. Okay, so uh, my main focus is eyeliner. So this color, there's two colors in between, they don't, you can't see much of a difference. I already moisture my face also with the Body Shop um, Moisture Cream. This is by LA, LA Kishimoto. And um, I had to do it before so that it would set on my face. But as, you, as you can see, my face is already glowy and it's not dry anymore. So... Now for the eyeliner, I have my Kryolan eyeliner brush and all of this is um, free of animal testing. Okay. So I have my Kryolan palette and I have the color black pepper here. And if not, I will try to mix that with this cake eyeliner in black because this flat is darker than that one. So I'm gonna use the All Nighter by Urban Decay. This is a makeup setting spray. Um, I'm gonna use both. Um, I'm gonna need a mirror for this. So. You should always use your, um, if you want to use eyeshadow as your eyeliner, always put the fixer on it. And if you want to know which is more convenient, I guess, like, I don't know. I always felt that the application with uh, eyeshadow, it's easier if you're learning. It's way much easier doing it this way than with um, gel eyeliner, for example. Um... But you should always use the the fixer on top of it, and it's perfectly fine. Also, another product I recommend a lot is the Aqua Colors. 
like Cryolan because they um, they do work awesome as gel eyeliners. So um, and also they are like cheap products. They are professional. They are like the best quality out there for makeup artists. They are not tested in animals. And like, I believe that 30 grams of an aqua color will cost you $11 or something. So it's really, really cheap. Like, the only thing is that they, as a brand, they don't do marketing as, like, as crazy as the other brands do. You know, they are always spending so much money on marketing. And since Kralon has their own um, makeup artists um, slash buyers, <laughs> then they don't really, like, they don't mind about doing propaganda because they feel like with us it's enough and so that's why I'm here trying to <laughs> let you know people so I also I got this uh, face and I mean fresh nude foundation from the body shop in Atlas Dune 45 I got this color because it was like the more yellowy the more yellow color so it's warmer for my skin and I usually um, wear a very little foundation I'm like all against um... mm, this smells so good yeah I'm usually like against foundation like for films it's so much better when people don't use any foundation just correcting like little issues but this foundation I saw it on a makeup artist I was working with and I couldn't believe like how pretty this foundation makes your skin look like honestly it really makes your skin look like really really pretty and that's why once we came back from the location because we had to be there like two weeks I just couldn't help it and I bought one because it, you see like the skin is glowy with this foundation and it's crazy and it also has a pump it's amazing like it's pretty pretty cool she was wearing the one called vanilla and her skin looked so pretty and like it's not like she even had like the most amazing skin it was just the um product itself and then finally I'm gonna set everything with the NYX um, powder stay matte but not flat and soft beige beige and this always I usually wear this to set everything like usually people use brushes to apply powder and I don't really like that I am more of a, I believe you should set your powder with the sponge and when you want to remove powder then that's where you use your brush to remove everything Brushes usually like grab a lot of product and pull it out, so that's why you would use your brushes. So this is the final look, guys. Like you don't really need much. Um, also, if you if I don't want to look very powdery because of the powder, of course, I'll just spray again the all nighter, like a little bit on the T zone, because that's the zone where I put uh, the powder. And then you start to look glowy again, but not oily. So I hope you like this, guys. Um, see you on another video. <laughs> Bye.